Hi, my name is Dr. Bill Johnson. I'm a urologist here at Core Physicians in Exeter, New Hampshire. I'm happy today to talk about screening for urologic cancers as part of a series that the hospital is putting on on all different organ types. And what we're talking about today is specifically urology. People often talk about screening for prostate cancer with their primary care physician. That's where everything starts. Prostate cancer is a really hot topic for men and to have that discussion about the controversy regarding prostate cancer screening with your primary care physician is probably the best place to begin. We typically recommend men screen for prostate cancer with a PSA test between age 55 and 70. Doing it earlier than that is recommended if there's a strong family history of prostate cancer and doing it after age 70 is not recommended because of mortality and some questions about the benefit of late diagnosis of prostate cancer and whether or not the downsides to treatment really warrant the diagnosis in the first place. I will say that this is a complex issue with lots of opinions, lots of personal opinions, lots of medical opinions, and lots of different recommendations over the years. The thing that is true most about prostate cancer screening though is to have that personal discussion with either your primary care physician or in many cases with a urologist. And here in Exeter, we have two board certified urologists, myself and Dr. Colin Jumper, with whom you can have these intimate conversations about what your value system are, is, and whether or not prostate cancer screening is right for you given your age. The screening for prostate cancer typically involves a blood test, which could be followed by an MRI or a prostate biopsy. And then the downstream effect of a positive diagnosis would be either radiation or surgery, which is beyond the scope of today's topic. There are other urologic cancers that are important to consider. Uh, bladder cancer is very prevalent in New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. In fact, we have the highest rates of bladder cancer than anywhere in the country. Partially, this is related to perhaps our water system, but we don't quite know why uh, the high rates of bladder cancer are here. But one of the best ways to determine the presence or absence of bladder cancer is with a screening urine test. Either microscopic blood in the urine or blood that's visible to the naked eye is very concerning to both your primary care physician and to urology. We have a very well-established protocol for handling uh, blood in the urine and how to evaluate that. And we would welcome you to explore that more with your primary care physician or with us, depending on the circumstances. When it comes to kidney cancer, um, this can be deadly or it can be very curable. Unfortunately, there's not a very easy way to screen for kidney cancer. Oftentimes we see individuals that have a CAT scan or an ultrasound for another reason, pick up an incidental nodule or a mass within the kidney, and then we explore that further with the patient one-on-one. -on -one. When it comes to young men, uh, age 20 to 40, teenage to 40 years old, they're at risk for testicular cancer. So testicular cancer is a disease of young men rather than older men. And so we always recommend that men in that age category perform a, a monthly self-testicular exam to feel for any nodules or bumps or hardness that could be concerning and then is evaluated by a urologist. There are other more incidental, smaller uh, frequency urologic cancers that are beyond the scope of today's evaluation or our, our discussion today. Um, but we'd be happy to explore those with you in the future if you have any questions or concerns. I'm very happy that uh, you've taken the time to review this video with regard to urologic cancers and our cancer center here at Exeter Hospital. Thanks for listening.